Mary Mae Gums, and you clicked on the right video because today I'm going to teach you how to sew a straight line on a sewing machine. The materials that you're going to need is fabric and of course your sewing machine. For this demonstration I'm going to specifically use a light piece of fabric and a dark piece of thread so you'll be able to see what I'm doing. The machine is already set up and ready to go so let's get started. For the process of sewing, you need to be very careful because there's a sharp needle and a very hot lamp. Other thing to make sure of, when you're sewing, make sure you don't go towards you. Go away from you because if you go towards you, you'll either break the machine or your thread will be caught and that's not what you want to do. It will be caught in a the biggest knot ever and you might have to thread your bobbin again which will take a long process and that is not what you want to do at all. So right here is the knob in the back of the sewing machine. Make sure you turn it left and not right. This right here controls the position of the needles. What the knob does, if you turn it left, it situates the needle to press down on your piece of fabric. That's what you need to do to hold it in place. There's a gray lever up here. What you need to do is press it down, and this is the second thing that holds it in place. Now, to start sewing, you need to hold your fabric by putting one hand here and one hand at the end. So you could hold it like this as the needle is passing through. Start off by making a seam. Flip it over to this side and let's get ready to sew. You can see a very straight line. Right here is what the finished product looks like. In my next video, I'm going to teach you how to set up the machine and everything. But, thanks for watching my video. See you next time. Bye! The Sacramento Northern. The Sacramento Northern Railway was a 183 mile long electric interurban railway that stretched from Chico to San Francisco. The SN, the Sacramento Northern, was a railway that was formed by two others, the Oakland Antioch and Eastern and the Northern Electric. The Western Pacific Railroad bought both interurban lines and merged them into the Sacramento Northern at the end of 1928. The SN ran through the Oakland Hills and the climb was a steep 4% gradient. Passenger service. The Essen's main name trains were the Comet and the Meteor. The Essen was once the fastest way to get from the Bay Area to the Sacramento Valley. The Meteor took 5 hours, 43 minutes from Chico to San Francisco, and the Comet took 2 hours and 48 minutes from San Sacramento to San Francisco. The passenger trains had a dining service and parlor car service. The trains also reached a speed of 60 miles per hour while traveling from Sacramento to San Francisco. The 40th and Shafter Avenue Yard. A small cramped yard was located at the corner of 40th and Shafter Avenue. The yard had a, a five-stall shed for storing its electrics. The yard also included a car and locomotive repair shop. Two-story interlocking tower also served as a passenger depot. SN also had a freight depot on 40th Street. SN over the Bay Bridge. The SN was a used key system trackage over the Bay Bridge to the Transway Terminal in San Francisco. The Sacramento Northern key system and the Interurban Electric Railway shared the, the tracks on the Bay Bridge to the Transway Terminal in San Francisco. 
Sadly, the Transway Terminal was demolished in 2010, so we replaced with a new one that is still under construction. What was left of the Bay Bridge Mall and the Key Systems Bay Bridge Yard? SN Freight Service. The SN always considered itself as a freight carrier. The SN carried all sorts of agricultural products from California's rich Sacramento Valley. Since the climb at Rock Ridge was, a, was at a 4.5% grade, SN had locomotives at both ends of the train, not for pushers, but for additional braking. The SN leased some of its electrics to the key system owned Oakland Terminal Railway. SN's Ferry Ramon The Ramon was a temporary solution to the bridge that was never built over to Suzanne Bay. Ramon unloaded and loaded into urbans and mallard and chips. There were three tracks on the Ramon, but only two were used due to the width of trains. Freight locomotives usually didn't ride the Ramon. Ramon gave 40 years of service be before being decommissioned in 1954, which led to the eventual conversion to diesel. The end of the SN. The SN ceased into urban service on January 1941, and the SN became a freight only railway. Most of the inner urbans were stripped of parts and burned in Chico. The SN received its first diesels in 1944. The SN owned 44 tonners, EMC SW1s, Alco S4s, GP7s, and EMD F3s. The SN continued with freight operations until the abandonment of the electrification in 1965. SN's lines were slowly abandoned until SN's name was ceased when the WP was acquired by the UP in 1983. Today, a 22-mile portion of the of the SN main line is now in use by the Western Railway Museum in Solano County. The Western Railway Museum restored some of the SN's equipment, such as Inner Urban Number 1005, SN Steeple Cab 652, and Key Systems Braid Bridge Unit. SN's legacy. The SN has helped California's valley towns to grow and its railroading legacy will be remembered by rail fans from all around. The end.